Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie and this is Catherine the 19th. I wanted to chat with you about why I bought AirPods and show you my unboxing and review of them. Okay, Emily, recount to me what just happened right now. <laughs> you said to me. I said to Katie, would it be bad if I wanted to go to the mall and buy AirPods? And I said to her, look at my laptop. I currently have the Apple website open on my computer. <laughs> so I've been thinking about wireless headphones for a while. This past winter, I have become increasingly frustrated with the issue of having my headphones in, having my phone in my jacket pocket, and coming in the door from walking home from class and needing to like arrange the wires so I can get my coat off and then keep listening. And it's just, it's just kind of a mess. I also feel like I'm constantly getting tangled up in my wires, especially in the midst of trying to get coats and other kinds of outerwear on and scarves and it's just another thing that i've come across now that i've been trying to work out more you know new year new me is i want to listen to my nike or seven minute workout instructions on my phone but i don't have any pockets in my workout gear so it's hard for me to like hold my phone with me and have headphones in and i don't want to be like bothering other people at the gym so i don't want to have to play it out loud so I thought that wireless headphones would be a good solution to a lot of the problems I've been having. Emily has also been discussing this recently. She has similar frustrations with the workout and outerwear situation. So we've both been chatting about how we kind of want to get AirPods, but we weren't so sure about it because they're kind of expensive. We hadn't talked about it for a couple days and then one day we were both sitting in our room just like doing our own thing on our computers and then Emily turned to me and was like, would it be bad if I wanted to go to the mall and buy AirPods? So, one plus one equals two. Emily and Katie are going to the Apple store now to buy AirPods. Uh, do you think this is a bad decision or do you think this is like, it no, was on its way? I we think it was inevitable. It. <laughs> yeah. Treat I yourself. Can, treat yourself. And, and so in that moment of serendipity, we decided, you know what? This is it. We got it. We have to go get AirPods. Today, I am taking you on an epic AirPods adventure. We have successfully purchased our AirPods and we are now on the way home. How do you feel, Emily? like a responsible adult. So clearly I wanted to get wireless headphones because of my frustration with outerwear, workouts, etc. But why specifically AirPods? I wanted to get AirPods because of their ease of connectivity with Apple products. I love how you can listen to your phone, disconnect them, connect them to your laptop and start listening to your laptop all the while you've had the same headphones in your ears and it's just very easy. Since I got my iPhone 7 Plus, I have used the specific lightning connector earbuds and so I've had one set of headphones for my phone and one set of headphones for my laptop. Now with my AirPods, I love that I can use the same set of headphones for both of my devices. It's also surprisingly fun how you can be listening to something on your laptop and then get up and like walk around. Especially because I have an online course where I have to listen to lectures on my laptop, it's nice to be able to listen to it wander around the room and not be bothering Emily sitting over at her desk with um, the sound of my lectures. One thing that everybody initially critiqued AirPods for but then eventually praised them for was whether or not they stay in your ears. When this came out, everybody was like, they're gonna fall out, you're gonna lose them immediately. You know, regular Apple headphones fall out of your ears, so these clearly are too. However, I have found through personal research that the AirPods actually stay in your ears very well. After conducting a very scientific shake test, they were still there. And I know that it really depends on your ear shape, all that kind of thing, but I've always really loved the fit of regular Apple um, earphones, headphones, what do people even call these things? I really like how AirPods fit into my ears and I actually find that they don't fall out as much as regular wired headphones do. I think part of that is half of the time when regular earbuds fall out of your ears, it's because the wire got pulled. So because AirPods don't have that, they stay in quite well. Another great thing about AirPods is the function where you can tap them for controls. They automatically come with the double tap assigned to Siri on both headphones, but why would anybody want that? I personally never use Siri because I don't think that her voice recognition is that great. So I remapped the double tap feature on my headphones to be pause and next track. 
My only qualm with AirPods is I wish there was some way to have the volume function built into the headphones because one thing that I do miss is that on the wired headphones, there's a volume up and down option. Whereas with the AirPods, there's not even a way to map that to your headphones. The one way I get around that is on my watch, whenever I am listening to something, there is a volume control that automatically comes up. So all you have to do is, you know, swivel this little dial and it'll turn the volume up and down. But for people who don't have Apple watches, I can see it being a little bit annoying to have to pull out your phone to change the volume on your music or podcast. How do you feel about our AirPods so far? I feel like we look so obnoxious. I'm a rich person now. <laughs> yeah, I am the bourgeois. <laughs> it's like we're Sailor J. Who needs sight when you have I know, pause. <laughs> but honestly, I know, I feel like I look really obnoxious. But look, you can't even see them if you just No, really you can't. can't. Wait, I can cheat can't. on a test. I don't know how. I, but... <laughs> we'll record ourselves giving the answers and then listen to oh, it on the Oh, okay. It's true. I know, I do like the part where you can take it out. I've tried it though and it doesn't work for podcasts, at least on my phone. Oh, interesting. Oh, are you listening to music right Greatest now? Greatest showman. Oh. <laughs> like that. I'm gonna be that obnoxious person at the gym now. Yeah, exactly. Of course, a main issue that a lot of people have with AirPods is the price. When I bought my AirPods, I was very fortunate to have some Christmas money from my grandparents that I was able to use towards my purchase, which significantly decreased the price that I had to pay in the end. So for me, that made it worthwhile but obviously not everyone has that situation so if you're paying the full price yourself it is kind of expensive in canada anyway they are 219 canadian dollars you know that's that's a that's an investment for headphones though if you go out and buy like beats or anything like that they are going to be at least that expensive when you first pop open the airpods box you get that satisfying peel of the plastic wrap that iPhone boxes don't have any more, but for whatever reason, they've packaged the AirPods the same way they used to package iPhones. And what you get in the box is pretty straightforward. You've got your little packet of instructions, and then below that is the little tic-tac box of AirPods. When you lift the tray out of the box, you'll find your charging cord. It's a lightning cable. I wish that it would have come with one of those blocks because I don't have extra ones sitting around and I don't know what else I'm gonna plug it into. Realistically though, the battery life on these things is pretty good, so I just plug it in to where I charge my phone every once in a while and that seems to do the trick. Yeah. And it pauses it and then you put it back in and it just keeps playing. It worked on my crappy ass phone. Wow. So overall, are they worth it? It depends on who you are, but I would recommend them if you're considering investing some money in some wireless headphones and you are already a part of the Apple ecosystem. One huge value added thing for me is just the fact that they work so well between my laptop and my phone because I can use them with everything and I can control them with my watch then it really makes it worthwhile for me. I'm a slave to Apple. Overall, I'm really happy with my AirPods and I would recommend them to someone who is considering dropping some cash on some wireless headphones. And if you're already an Apple geek like myself, then you would probably enjoy them. Anyway, I think that's gonna be it for today's video. Please let me know in the comments below what you think of AirPods. Do you think they're a waste of money? Do you think they're good quality? Have you tried them? What other wireless? headphones have you considered? Let me know your thoughts below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and of course make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and I love to talk about all things creativity, travel, and tech. As always, I love you all. I hope you're following your dreams and I will see you in the next one. Bye!